Hey everyone, it's Nate here, Soda City Boards. Um, I've been messaged and get lots of comments on my posts about how I have this white spot channel action set up so you don't have to go through the tedious process every time. Mine, I literally just come in here, find my action, click play. It will add the spot channel, save it, and everything as a TIFF file. So I figured I would do a quick little video for you, show off how I do that. And you can use actions for absolutely anything. It's really good when you have to resize a bunch of images and stuff like that. So it's not just to add the spot channel that it can be used for. So to start, we'll hide this quick. As you see, no actions here. We'll go to Window, Actions. It will start showing them. First thing we're going to do is click the Add button. New white spot channel. Once I click record, it's going to start recording absolutely everything I do. So first step, we're going to actually convert this over to CMYK color mode. Image mode CMYK. So now it's a CMYK color mode since that's what the printer uses. We're going to right click, select pixels, select absolutely everything on the canvas. Then we're going to go to select, modify, contract. Here we're going to contract by one pixel. So one second. Yeah. So when you do this, it's going to make everything, the borders one pixel in from the edges. So that way it's not printing white on the outside of it around the edges. So it doesn't look bad. Next up, we're going to go to the bottom right over here next to layers and click channels. We're going to do the three lines here and add a new spot channel. Not a new channel, new spot channel. I'm going to name it white spot channel. You can name it whatever you want. I changed mine to 100% solidity. That way I can make sure absolutely everything on the canvas is selected and has the white spot behind it. And then from here, I'm going to go to file, save as. And I'm going to save it as a TIFF file. Once I do this, let me add a new name to it. Test. So once I do this, I'm going to leave all this and click OK. And then I'm going to stop my recording. So if I open up another file over here, I'm going to go to my actions over here. I'm going to select my new white spot channel. And I'm going to click play. And it does absolutely everything for me. The only thing it will not do if you've already done this on this file before. Is it will not save it properly. It will normally not overwrite the last one you save with the same name. So I recommend when you do your setup over here, you don't change the file name at all, and it will use the existing file name that's already there. I hope this helps, and you guys can get it set up for yourselves and make your lives easier. Um, you can also set this up for varnish as well if you plan to do that.